What's going on guys, David Productions 119 here. Um, I'm very bored right now and I am actually not doing anything. So let's go out together and let's have a good day. Let's try to vlog, let's try to do something fun, something interesting. I don't even know what I'm gonna do today. I have no plans at all. Um, so yeah, maybe I might get something done today, I don't even know. Just let me show you guys what time it is. It is. 150 right now. I did not just wake up. I've been going to church earlier and stuff like that. So that's done, I guess. That's all I did today. And then, yeah. So I have something on my shoes. Ah. But yeah. So let's figure something out to do. Let me show you guys real quick first what happened actually. Got a bunch of stuff I want to show you guys. Not relating to sneakers at all, just cool stuff in general. So let me flip the camera on and let me show you guys, let me show you guys that real quick. And then we'll move on to the next scene. If I figure something out to do, if not, this video might not even be posted. So let's move on to the next scene. So if you guys hadn't been a subscriber of me for a while, I used to be in the Nerf guns and look at all this. I had zero Nerf guns and then I just bought a bunch. So yeah, that's what basically happened. I found a bunch of Nerf guns for a good price. Me and my friends went half these on, have these on this and we're gonna be making some videos, hopefully. So yeah. Um. <laughs> I'm 19 and I'm buying Nerf guns. No, it's cool though. But these are all cool. You can see two Mastodons over here. Big guns, stuff like that. Cool stuff. But yeah, other than that, just a couple of things. We got this at Ali's. Some weird gun. Yeah, rival, something. Bunch of ammo. One of these Terra drones or whatever it's called. Terra Scout. The walking robot thing. I gotta get the remote for this. They have it for me in Hamburg. People who bought it for me, so I gotta pick that up. But other than that, nothing else really doing today. So I don't know. Honestly, I might show you guys the car real quick, and then we'll cut to the next scene because there's a couple modifications on the car. So let's cut to that. So real quick, don't mind the background noise, but this is what the car's looking like right now. She looks beautiful right now, but. Like, really good lighting, but let me show you guys some modifications. You guys might have already seen these carbon fiber handles. Sorry about the, the wind. Rain guards, put these on a little bit off by like half an inch. Don't mind that. Um, carbon fiber mirror covers, the Malibu lettering, and then the badge. Light bar on the top, that's interesting. And then from the front, you guys have not seen any of this. You haven't seen the rally lights that I have here, the two of them. You guys, I don't know if you guys have seen the strip lights down here. But whenever the car's on, these turn on. That's them, strip lights. They look pretty good. Like, I'll show you guys down, like all down here. It's all LED. All down here and then up, it's all LED. Don't mind the 3M tape, I gotta fix this. One of the clips broke here, but that's the and yeah, it looks pretty good. I do like the rain guards. They look really good. The well visors, not sponsored, but these are really good rain guards, so yeah. Also, I need to get a spoiler for this thing ASAP. I might honestly order it today. <laughs> and honestly, I, I kind of really want to get underglow, but people have been saying it'll look weird. I don't know, Just something cool, I guess. Some cool shots of the car. The car looks amazing. Um, yeah. There you go. Look at that angle. So anyways, guys, that is it for now. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Also, I want to put a light bar under here, too. Like, I want to figure out a way to put a light bar under here. So, yeah, there's one up there. I kind of want to put one down there, too. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit, then. So I had gone to Plato's and Savers just because I was bored. And I found a pair of shoes that I was actually, I had seen there, I think. But I just did not know they were Nike. I was kind of like, whatever, like, I'm just going to grab them just because, and that's this, they are the Nike ACD, ACG Gore-Tex React, something like that, the reason that's why I grabbed them is just because they look really cool, also, like, the outside of it's brown and the inside's, like, black, so they're kind of cool, I'm trying not to buy a bunch of random shoes, but, like, I really like the React shoes, and these are very comfortable, I'm probably going to be using these for, like, whenever I go hiking, Something like that, whenever I go hiking or exploring. 
because this has all conditions on this, and I don't know if that means they're waterproof, or, yeah, so let me show you guys close up real quick, there we go, but yeah, um, I might flip the camera around, but that's one pair I bought, and then I also got this t-shirt, it says nothing to lose on it, it's Nike, it'll match those you wouldn't see air forces i have so let's grab that that was 10 bucks kind of expensive but let me just flip the camera and do a close-up and then we'll go to the next scene also i'll show a bunch of pictures after the close-up of all the other shoes i saw there a couple of different shoes i could have gotten but the prices were kind of iffy and yeah and the conditions as well so let's cut to the next scene where we show you guys the close-up of the shoes Alrighty, so here they are and on feet today we have the bread toes so these are really cool. I need to wear my shoes more. But anyways, here here we go. The, these are the Gore-Tex Gore Reacts. They had these for 30 bucks. So that's a pretty good deal for these shoes. Um, brand new, they go for like, I think these retail for like 150 or 160. I just grabbed them just because they're comfortable and they're in really good condition. So and I, I love having nice hiking shoes. I mean, the materials are kind of like flimsy on them, but they're really comfortable, so, yeah, also, I might throw in different color laces, I don't know yet, these ones look like they're kind of 3M, like, the whole shoe, like, the whole upper up here, parts of it look like 3M, like, back here, I, I don't know if it is, it could, it, it might be, I don't know, but I just grabbed them, just because I was kind of, like, whatever, I've seen these here for a couple times, and I know they're in Nike, and then, also, we got these, this shirt, Nothing to lose. And let me grab the Air Forces and then I'll show you guys what I mean by this matching them. Yep, so here are the Air Forces to match. And yeah, these are the UNC Forces I got a while ago. And I just seen this shirt and I'm like, dude, this is sick. And this would also match the UNC ones, but I did not grab those. You can see though, comparing this UNC to this, this one's a little bit like more blue. I guess it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but this shirt is dope. So. That's a fit right there, nothing to lose, and yeah. So, let's cut to the next scene. I'll we'll show you guys all the photos and cool sneakers I found. Let's cut to that scene. Alrighty, so we're going to do another meetup, buying two pairs, paying a little bit high for them. Uh, margins are going to be a little bit less. Hopefully I can sell them real quick. Still got pairs I got to sell. Same pairs, two Air Forces and the Camo 5. Got to get rid of those. My, I'm selling shoes again. I haven't really been doing it too much. I got to get up to it more. So, yeah. Messaging the person right now. I'm going to meet them in a little bit, actually, buying two pairs. One of them is going to be a personal pair. Got a nice fit for that. The other pair, pretty soft. So, I'll catch up with you guys when I buy those pairs. And other than that, nothing else really new going on. Hair back to what it is. Waiting for a new style to... Waiting for myself to think of a new style. And, yeah. Bringing the black light. Got a legit text from Suze. And I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So I did come back from the meetup and I ended up buying only one pair instead of two. The second pair the guy was being shady about, they're 11 and a half. He told me they're 11. I did not buy them just because it's 11 and a half, it's harder to sell. But Black Light, let's see guys the pair I got. Pretty cool, I got this for the personal collection. Funny stories, I could've got these a couple months ago. I was sleeping on these pa this pair just like everybody else was. And they're going for like 220, 230. At times he was going for like 210. I could've got them for 190, so. Took it out, kind of, but it's okay because I still got them. And these are for the personal collection. I do like the color that these are just very different than everything else, really. So, show you guys the pair real quick. Take a guess what kind of shoe it is. Just by saying the price now is like 330 340 You guys should know what these are. Take a guess. I'll take, give you five seconds. Pretty easy. Everybody likes the shoe. But uh, three, two, one. Jordan 1s. <laughs> um, I'll show you guys the label real quick. Black, or, or I don't even know what that says. Something black, pine green. <laughs> there you go. Pine greens. Which ones are these, though? The 1.0s or the 2.0s? Take a guess. Also, what's cool is that I legit took all my shoes. No QR codes. And take a guess. Are these the 1.0s or the 2.0s? We got these for 190 and now they're going for 330 and it's the 2.0s. <sighs> I don't know, it's just something about the shoe. I just had to get them just because they were a Jordan 1. And it's really funny. Everybody always hits me up whenever they want to buy shoes and says, 
do you have any Jordan 1s for sale? I'm like, no. <laughs> like, everybody loves Jordan 1s just because they're so versatile. But, like, obviously, these are legit. I legit checked them. Comes with the red laces. The guy almost... So, when we first met up, the guy gave me the shoes. And he, we met, and then I was like, okay. I thought... He said the red laces were in the box. I was like, okay, cool. Go in the car, look at the box again. No laces. I was like, yo, where are they at? He said, give me 10 minutes, I'll be back. I'm like, okay, dude. So, he got, he got them for me. Red laces. And I paid a little bit... Okay, I did not pay brand new price. I did not pay brand new price at all. I paid, a, like, under that just because this guy was trying to tell me, oh, yeah, these go for 300 used. I'm like, dude, you are tripping. These are not 300. These are not worth 300 used. Because I could have paid 330 for a brand new pair, which would be, like, 370 380 So, technically, I saved, like, almost... I saved over $100. So, I got these used. Okay, only bad thing is that I got to increase these, and I'm going to do that in a little bit after this clip. But you just put something, like, newspaper or something underneath the shoe... Like inside the shoe and the take a white rag, put it on, put an iron and iron it out, make it uncreased. Other than the creases in the front, everything else looks pretty good. Not many creases. The one thing about the shoes, this leather is amazing. I don't know why I slept on this shoe. This shoe is dope. That was the box. But this shoe is really dope. The condition on the back, no creases really at all. A little bit up there. Over here, looks everything looks good. Like this, this material is really soft. So I don't know why I slept on these. It's really cool about this pair. I don't know why my camera's being weird. Is that right here? It says Nike Air and it's leather. It's kind of like the Core Purple 2.0s that I have. But and look at the stitching. My camera's being really weird now. Let me switch to the other lens, I think. Or actually. Other than that, that looks pretty good. Let's switch to this lens. But yeah, look at the leather quality on this. Like these are amazing. Like just look at the quality on these. Like there's it's so soft. It reminds me exactly of. The obsidians, kind of. And I hate to say that, but these really do. Like, they're in really good condition. I just got to increase them. And other than that, they're really good. Look at the bottom real quick. No heel drag at all. Go up to the front. All the stars are still there. Look at this side. No heel drag. All the stars are still there. Let's show you guys this side real quick. Same condition. Just need to increase the front of them. Other than that, they're really good. Also, what's really cool about this pair is... The Air Jordan logo is sticking out, and it's kind of, like, embossed in there. Let me try to see if I can catch it in the light. But like, look at that. It is, this camera's amazing. I, I love this camera. This is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. But look at, like, it's so, it's such good quality. Like, for an Air Jordan. And these are times, but, like, you can't even see it from here. Like, it just looks like a black logo. Like, you can kind of tell, but in the light, you can see all the details. But, yeah, this pair's in really good condition. I paid a good price for them. And yeah. So let me know what you guys think. I don't know if I'm going to wear these that much. I am probably will. I'll keep the black laces in it for now. When it gets around Christmas time, I'll throw in the red ones in. Because obviously the red ones look a lot better. But as I said, it's literally just a, a green bread one. So that's why these are going up in price. I'm like thinking to myself, I should have grabbed these. Because these are going to go up in price heavily. Just like the Core Purple 2.0s. Those are basically a purple Chicago one. So everybody wants them. I just, Jordan 1s are, always have to be cops. Like, I always got to keep grabbing them because the Jordan 1s. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, that is it for now. I just want to show you guys this pair. These are really dope. Authentic. Always buy authentic pairs. And, yeah, you're going to see me rocking these a lot in the summer. I'm going to increase them. And I'm going to show you guys after after I do that, see how it is. It'll look probably like this a little bit. This one's going to be pretty bad now. But let me do that real quick. And I'm going to show you guys the finished product. If not, I'll catch up with you guys in the next scene. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I just like buying pairs and have not bought a pair myself for myself in a while. So I'm on Chrissy's now. I'll show you guys after that. Hey, guys. Did an iron real quick. I don't want to do too much, but this is the best I could do. They did come out mostly. I don't really, really care about this last crease, but mostly comes out. All you got to do is take a damp rag, put it on there. Let me do a demonstration for you. Damp rag, put it on the shoes. I have mine set to delicate. Do real quick, like this, circle motion. Don't do too much because you don't want to burn anything. Take it off. And that's it. So this is probably the best I can get. I'm going to just leave it. I don't really care. So I'm not really a big stickler about creases. So anyways, also make sure to turn it off. Leave it to, to cool off the uh, iron. Unplug it. Make sure to cool it off before you put it away so there's no fire started. 
And yeah, so I'm gonna relace these up because these are kind of tightly laced and I'll show you guys what they look like. And just like that, these are uncreased. Shoe trees in them, relaced up. These look way better condition. These, instead of moving from eight and a half, these moved to like a nine, nine out of 10. So yeah, just literally just uncreasing them and putting shoe trees in them will make them look a lot better. So that's it for now. And I'll catch up with you guys in the next scene. I don't, know what's lot, I don't know what else I'm going to do, but putting the shoe trees in these, increasing them with the, with the iron, and relacing them looks a lot better. So please, guys, don't have your laces super tight because it looks really weird. Having them loose like this looks a lot better. So anyways, guys, that's it for now. And I'll catch with you guys in the next scene. All right, guys, so real quick, before I end the video, I want to do a couple clips. So I might be getting one more pair of sneakers today, potentially. I'm going to be trading, so I'm going to be hopefully trading the camo fives for a pair. Hopefully that goes down today. I was supposed to meet the guy last night. It was like 12 o'clock. I was waiting for him. He said, hold on. He'll text me. I fell asleep at like 12.30. He texted me at 1.30. Yo, like 20 times. I'm like, dude, I fell asleep. Anyways, so I want to show you this. I went to Marshall's actually, and I'm very surprised I found this at Marshall's, but once in a while, you'll find some gems. So, you guys can see, it's Kappa. Love Kappa, it's pretty cool. I don't usually shop at Paxson just because it's a little bit more expensive. This goes for like 30 bucks, 35 bucks, I think, retail, something like that. And it doesn't even show on here. But they sell this at Paxson. It means equality, the symbol. It's kind of, at first I thought it was a little bit sketchy, but it just means equality, which is good between men and women. So it says regular fit. And yeah, so look how much I paid. 15 bucks. Paid 15. Shirts were 30. Looks really good. It's just very simple and I just I just like it. So got a good deal on this. Surprisingly, Marshall's had a couple sizes. My friend got a size large. I got an extra large just because these shirts fit really tight. I got pretty wide shoulders. So but anyways, so got a steal on this. And yeah, hopefully I can sell or trade the camel fives today. If not, whatever, but I hope I can. Anyways, that's it for now. If I do anything else, I'll put it in the video. If not, I'll catch you guys in the next scene. Actually, wait, before I go, this is the, the fives. I keep showing you guys these. I need to get rid of these because I don't want to keep having these in the selling sellable sellable uh, shoes I got to sell. I just also sold the Air Forces today. I sold the white and black ones. I think they're like so worldwide Air Forces, like the white with like the cool blue thing hanging down. And also, I sold the City of Dreams ones, like the weird camel ones. So, the last pair of shoes I got to sell are these camel fives. And I just want to get these out of here because nobody really wants these. So, got to move these quick and never buy these again. Other than that, nothing else really going on. I have the Isle of Prestos you guys know about. I'm going to sell those in like, like a week or so. I think a week from today, I'm selling those for like 60 bucks. I've got to get rid of those too. Anyways, that's it for now. I'll catch you guys in the next scene. Alrighty guys, so let me turn the fan on real quick. So I did the, the meetup and I traded the Camel Fives for this pair, the Laker 13s. These are size 11 and a half for the only problem, but also I got $10 of it. So I traded the Fives for the 13s and $10. Hopefully I can sell these. My friend actually wants these, hopefully. So, I mean, these are cool, just they're a half size too big, but it's okay. But anyways, that's it for now. And I'll probably end the video now. Thank you guys for watching. Because this video's been a little bit longer. Thank you guys for watching and I'm out. Peace guys.